The Ulu Project investigates the diverse cultures of Alaska Native peoples and their relations to the land and sea. We explore aspects of food and culture through the perspectives of both experts and everyday people and film the series in three locations, Nome, Sitka, and Anchorage, Alaska. Cultural heritage affects the way I cook. Um, mostly, I'd say I'm still kind of figuring that out in a lot of ways. Um, being a chef, I have to talk about representing food at a, at a table in a restaurant, and there's liabilities that keep me from using deer or seal. Um, there's a foraging aspect that's okay, but I think I want to kind of I want to bring that to the table or let people know how to cook it or how to enjoy it. So I, I like bringing my cooking experiences and taking that seal and maybe folding it into a pozole, for example, or the herring eggs. Um, you know, making a salad and using a little bit of seal oil in a salad dressing to kind of incorporate that. So it's like that that familiar traditional flavor, but also in in a way that's maybe not so overwhelming to the palate. Um, and I think that again speaks to what I just like doing with local local foods as well. We try to integrate traditional or wild or local foods into our diet as much as we can. By no means are we perfect and do it 100%. Um, but we have a drawer of dried herbs and greens that we put into soups and such and teas and we have a freezer of salmon and a freezer of berries and we'll preserve some of our garden greens. So it's a small portion of the diet but it's a very significant one because it's important and it has a story well, around it. Once I get that moose it'll be a significant <laughs> portion of our diet so it'll be great. Uh, and I'm uh, from from the Otna region I, Traditional foods, I think it's kind of loaded in terms of what you're saying is traditional, but um, moose and salmon, you know, were the salmon nation, and, and they were the main subsistence of, of the, my people, so. People who are really into foraging in this city, uh, most of the people that I know, they're really respectful of what the rules are. They, for example, contact the the specific park and they say like I really want to go and get this can I do that and talk to an official and and make sure that it's not going to cause a problem um, and at a Alaska Plants of Food and Medicine symposium conference earlier this year put on by ANTHC uh, there was a big discussion about asking for permission to pick from certain areas from whatever um, native land it is and I thought that that was a really great idea. Um, there's a memory of land, I suppose, that happens when we do these things too, uh, and a memory within ourselves that all of our ancestors have continually done, which is whether it's picking berries, the motions of doing that, and community and the interaction that you have within that, um, cleaning fish, all of these things, processing, learning how to process and utilize everything from what we're doing. So um, yeah, it's really wonderful. Thank you.